Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a what's new in beauty video. Got some new products and some new additions to the beauty world that I wanted to share in a video. Some things might just be new to me, they might not be new to you. So yeah, I'm going to be trying all the new stuff out. I've got Laura Lee's Cat's Pajamas palette. I've got an announcement about Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I've got some Victoria Beckham for Estee Lauder. Heaps of cool new stuff and I'm going to do it in a look. Today's Notification Squad giveaway is this by Benefit. It's called the Head Over Hills. It's a holiday gift. Looks like a snow globe. This one comes with a professional full-size hula, a mascara, and then a mini gimme brow. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed and have your notifications on. Like this video and leave a comment within the first 12 hours. The reason I say first 12 hours is because if you receive notifications, you find out first when my videos get uploaded, and that way I'll be rewarding the people that get those notifications. First things first, I'm the realist. I'm gonna use Smashbox Photo Finish Primerizer. This was released like maybe a month or two ago, whenever all the influencers were in Fiji, but I haven't tried it. Been saving myself. It's a moisturizer and primer in one. Oh, it's really slippery, but not in a silicon kind of way, more of a gel kind of way. There's nothing new about Double Wear Foundation, but what is new is that they finally listened to everyone and they've got a pump for it. As you know, the foundation comes like this, you just pour it out, it does get a little bit messy. But now they have the pump you can attach to it, and it's much, much better and cleaner and you can control how much you're getting out. Now I'm going to take Rihanna's Fenty sponge, which I really like, and pat it all over. The newest in brows would be the Foolproof Brow Powder from Benefit with two shades of powders in it. A lighter one for the front part of the brow and a darker one for the tail. It comes with this little sponge applicator that has a spoolie on the end. I'm going to comb through them first. Start with the lighter shade. Surprisingly easy to use this weird little sponge thing. Normally I just chuck these out, but I actually am finding it quite easy to use. And then with the darker powder, I put it on the very tip of the brush. I'm not sure how this is going to go, so I'm going to be light-handed. Not bad at all. I am surprised. Normally, I do not like these applicators, and normally I'm a gel or pencil kind of gal. I've got a Golan product now. I stay primer. Oh, I like this applicator. It's a soft nude color. Sets fast. Then I've got Laura Lee's Cat's Pajamas eyeshadow palette, which has to be the prettiest packaging for an eyeshadow palette I've ever seen. I love the glitter. And that's the eyeshadows. Really nice, warm, and berry tones. I don't normally go for warms, but they're very Laura, so we can all appreciate that. I'm gonna take Okie Dokie. It's nice and soft. I feel like it would blend out well on most skin tones. Like it's not chalky. I'll take Bomb Diggity. Oh, it's like an ochre color. I did my problematic eye first. This one always has a weird little piece that I feel like it doesn't blend properly with some eyeshadows, but it is not happening yet. I feel like it almost has like a slight green undertone to it, so I think it's working really well for me. Really nice buildable pigment. I was going in very lightly, and so I had to build it up but it blended out extremely well. I might just go full on cranberry. Kooky. A lot comes off on the brush. Barely touching my eye and it just sticks to my eye, which is good. Blending out easily. Wow. Okay, that was honestly a dream to apply. I'm gonna take in one ear. Out the other. There's a little bit of fallout with that color. Nothing wrong with that though. My palette has fallout on it too. Quirky. I'm gonna add some gold. Take Redonculus. Oh, that looks like a foil. Just gonna tap it right here in the very center. Then Scatterbrain will be my inner corner highlight. Oh yeah. Wow. I'm gonna add some here too. Just to make like a high point to the highlight. 
I'm going to use Rock and Coal Iconic Liquid Eye Pencil in Elizabeth Violet. So Victoria Beckham has a new collection out with Estee Lauder and she has this eye cajal, double-ended. One's nude, one's black. I'm going to stick with the black one. Oh shit! That is pigmented as hell. Whoa. I mean, that's not even any effort. I'll take Oddball the black. It has like a little bit of glitter in it. I'm gonna blend that out. Wow, I don't think I have any eyeliners in my collection that are that smooth to apply. Okay, I recently got this Bourjois Adjustable Volume Mascara. So apparently you can just reapply this mascara at any time without getting clumps. Oh, it's easy to hold because it's triangle. It's got a classic wand. Yeah, it's nice. Nothing fancy though. Colourpop released these concealers not long ago. It's the No Filter Concealer. I'm going to take the shade Light. I'm going to bronze and contour now. This is new to me, but I'm not quite sure if it's actually new. This is the Pixi by Petra Multi Balm in Sheer Sculpt. Oh, had to warm it up there. How nice! Shit, I love it! That is a good colour. I've honestly yet to come across a product from Pixie that I don't like. They just do it right. Like it's not too buttery so it doesn't just blend out into nothing. I can actually be precise with it. Ciate Dewy Sticks were released quite a while ago now. Well, not a while ago, but you know sometime this year, but they've been releasing other shades. This one's called Luster and it's got like pink reflex in it. Maybe you can see the texture on the end of the stick, but it's just like a gel balm type thing. So it creates a wet look because it's just dew. I just got this pretty ombre blush from Essence called Life is a Festival. Very pretty in the pan, but let's see how it looks on my face. I'm gonna stick to the pale and center part. going on really blotchy. Nope. Abort. That blush sucks. Let me try it on the back of my hand. No, throwing it out. Don't like it. Let's try again. I'm going to try the blush like you meant it dose of colors blush in amazement. Do you get it? Amazement. Same brush because I'm a dirty bastard. Oh, well that's better. Okay, so it wasn't me, it was the blush. Oh, that's actually very pigmented. These are meant to smell like mint. Ew! Ew, that smells so bad. It smells musty. This product is new to me. It's the Urban Decay Brow Tamer. I didn't do this before because it's not a new product as far as I know, but my eyebrow hairs are just going all over the shop, so they need some taming. That works well. I definitely feel like my hairs are set and the color is good. I just think the wand is a little bit too thick for eyebrows. Kat Von D sent me what seems to be the entire range of her everlasting lip liners, and I'm gonna use a nude one once I pick what lipstick I want. I'm going to try the Nicki Minaj for MAC. Ooh, it's in a pink container. Oh my god, that looks perfect for this look. Okay, this one's called The Pink Print. And this one's Nicki's Nude. Ooh, they smell good. They're very subtle difference. One is just more beige and the other one is a softer pink, baby pink. Alright, I'm going to try this lip liner called OG Lolita. So I'm going to take the Nikki's Beige, Nikki's Nude. Oh 
Love that. But I think I'm gonna add a Rihanna Galaxy lip gloss. The best option out of these would be Spacesuit. All right, let's add some lashes. These are the Foam Mink by Ardell in 811. Makeup all done. Honestly, I really liked everything I used except for the dodgy blush. Um, I did wanna show you some other new things that I've received. We've got the B Legendary Triple Tone Lipsticks. Really cool. Sigma just came out with this beautiful liquid lipstick in Top That. It's such a nice shade. I got this face Tory box in the mail and I was like, what is this? It's a damn subscription box for face masks. Genius. And it's just a selection of face masks for you to try that month. Super cool. So each uh, mask is valued between $3.50 and $10 per mask. I have to say that is a really cool idea. If you're a face mask fiend, this is an awesome way to try out new ones. It's got all the information on there and they sent me this and they have a mention code. Use Chloe Morello 20 to get 20% off your first box or kit from Face Story. That's really cool. Anyway, I just thought it was an ingenious idea. Today's notification squad giveaway is this by Benefit. It's called the Head Over Hills. It's a holiday gift. Looks like a snow globe. Wait, you gotta pull it off. Ooh. This one comes with a professional full-size hula, a mascara, and then a mini gimme brow. These are actually the benefit holiday gifts and they're available now in stores, but they're really cute and I can't wait to give one of these away to one of my notification squad. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed and have your notifications on. Like this video and leave a comment within the first 12 hours. The reason I say first 12 hours is because if you receive notifications, you find out first when my videos get uploaded and that way I'll be rewarding the people that get those notifications. So good luck guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.